An 86 year old Middleburg woman and her son are in need of some holiday spirit and the generosity of others. As On Your Side's Haley Harrison shares with us tonight, the family lost everything on Christmas Day as their home burned to the ground. Virginia Steinke was enjoying Christmas dinner with her two sons Friday. We were sitting at the table and we heard this scratching on the little door going out to the garage. Her cat was their alarm. My son Roger got up and opened the door, the door into the garage from the house, the little door, and uh, the flame just came right back at us like that. The fire caused by an extension cord malfunction was already big enough to singe off the top of his hair. The 86 year old great grandmother her two sons, a dog and a cat, had just enough time to escape. They got every room, um, all the ceilings collapsed. Steinke's daughter, Vicki Corley, says Clay County Fire Rescue responded quickly, but the house and everything in it is a total loss. It was scary, let me tell you. And this isn't the only hardship Steinke has had to battle this year. She almost lost her life to COVID-19 in September after fighting the virus in a hospital bed for three weeks. Um, and today we just got back from the doctor, the pulmonary, and so she gets to get off her oxygen and her lungs still have some scarring, but um, they're much better. And just like it will take time for Steinke's lungs to heal, it is going to take some time to tear down and rebuild their home. So Steinke and her son will be staying with family for a while. In Middleburg, Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side. She has been through so much, and the family tells us their focus right now is to replace some of her necessities that were lost in that fire, things like her clothes, hearing aids, and also her life alert system. So if you're interested in helping this family, a GoFundMe page has been set up. Uh, if you want to help this great-grandmother, the link is on our website. Just head to firstcoastnews.com and look for this story.